So let's say it's actually pretty spread out between myself. Um, so we have three other major players in the in the situation. One, uh, Elvin Reutman is the sort of second in command. Um, Sammy Saltzman and then Jonathan Paul, who's actually my brother, are the th- uh, the four main players. And I think for the actual episodes, I would say Sammy is the one that has the biggest hand in it outside of me and also our writing team. So we actually have probably four or five maybe even six at this point writers that we bounce or bounce ideas around. And then if somebody has a really good idea, we say, go ahead and write it up because there's such short scripts um, Mm -hmm. that it only takes people, you know, a week or two to turn around an episode. And if it's something that's really resonating, then we'll kind of invest more time in the developing of the script and bringing it to the point where it's, you know, it's got a sponsor attached to it and it's got an influencer attached to it. And so I think that's really what it's come down to is, is, is a combination of sort of the, the ideas of the team meet, meet the writers and what they're, what's resonating with them that day or that, you know, when, when it's time to sort of talk about it. So we, the very first round of this, we actually commissioned 20 or 25 of these scripts, just kind of see what was working and what felt like it resonated. And it, it, and it kind of, it worked well because we really were able to see, you know, um, which, you know, which type, which it helps us figure out the structure of the show, but also just which types of concepts felt like they were genuinely important to learn and which ones just felt like, oh, well, you know, we could learn that in five seconds and it doesn't really hold its own meat. Um, so that's, that's kind of been the, the, the task is just finding things that are simultaneously interesting, but also just things that people don't, you know, that that would take more than 30 seconds to look up on Google and be done with it. Well, I like, I like the fact that it's short because I feel like people, when they're long, people don't, they just tune out or they go somewhere else and short is good because you can, it's, it's just, it's very clever. It's it's just easier (laughs) to follow and people just don't have the time. You know, they're busy surfing and the web and doing this and doing that. And even though we're home now, I think short is good. Um, Who are the influencers and how do you, how do you choose them? So every episode, when it's when we're ready to produce it, um, basically we we kind of do a, a big sort of broad search of different experts that fit that criteria. So we've had anything from the guy that did um, uh, Mike Mike Satterfield, the guy that did the tire episode, is mm-hmm. a guy that is an expert in cars, and that was sort of important. It's important to us that that the audience, even though, again, it's a sitcom, so it can be, you know, it's, it's a little bit stretchy in what these things can be. But the, the idea that it that if they're going to hear the information and, and, and actually absorb the, the educational element of the education, that they feel confident that what they're hearing is, is correct. The same, same concept as, you know, partnering with strong quality brands. It's the idea of if if we're going to give you this, you know, delivery mechanism of, you know, how to video by sitcom, we want to make sure that the how to element is actually trustworthy and something you can take, you know, take to the bank effectively. So we found Mike Satterfield for that. We did a, an episode about sort of a Marie Kondo style episode. And we found this wonderful, lovely lady from um, Miami who was, uh, her name is Cindy, and she has a company called Cindyology, and it's very much like um, Marie Kondo or the what's the new one, the um, the edit, the the home edit that's very popular mm-hmm. now. Very mm-hmm. very similar company in her her neck of the woods. And then um, our third episode, we had uh, Sophia M. Caruso, who at that time was playing Lydia in Beetlejuice the musical. And so we were able to pull her in as the expert about, you know, how to behave in the theater. And so that's sort of where we look for people and, you know, the, with the right sort of sensibility and sense of humor, but also that have that expertise that can be relied on if people want to, you know, if, they, if they're learning how to make soup and they decide to turn off the episode and try the soup, try to make soup that it's, it's going to work out because the person that taught them knows what they're talking about. I, I love, I have to say, I love the whole thing. If you just didn't, I'm talking to executive producer of Adulting with Jane, a new shoppable how-to comedy series. Check it out, adultingwithjane.com with Jenny Paul. Uh, uh, what? So going forward, is there going to be a COVID episode? I'm sure there's going to be. <laughs> how to, how to cope with COVID. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we did, you know, we did the panic attack episode for that purpose. I'm not sure because, you know, I think one of the things that, you know, we sort of look to as a group and whether this is a good or a bad thing, I have no idea, but we're, we're trying, this is, you know, 
brutal honesty right now. We're trying really yes. hard to stay a- apolitical in a very hot time. So yeah. we, whether we like it or not, as a society, COVID is very political. So unless there's, you know, unless it becomes in the next couple of months where it becomes very clear what, you know, you know, this is, this is what it's going to be. This is everybody's sort of in, in agreement that this is the expertise about things. And we are able to report in, in essence, here is what needs to happen. And here is, you know, and this, and we're, we feel confident that not only that is what needs to happen, but that we're not going to just make it, <laughs> make half of our viewers like insanely mad, then we'll probably do that. I think our, our sort of, um, our sort of MO with it is, the concept of like, of, of like sort of a broader context adulting where like we, we would more likely do a, an episode about how to, how to stay healthy rather than like COVID specific. So like if, if you were, you know, if you were to ever do this again, if, or we were to do this six months ago, we would have done one about washing your hands properly. Something like yes, a little yes, more specific. So smart. You know? Yes. Yes. So, so there have been some good things that have come out of COVID. I, I must say, I talk about this a lot on my interviews and saying, you know, before when you used to go to the grocery store, you used to come in at a store, did you get in your car right away and wipe your hands down? I didn't used to yeah. do that. I mean, so, so there are going to be a lot of um, good things that come out of this more family time, more, you know, you don't have to run and be a hundred miles an hour, you know, be a hamster on a merry-go-round, continue to go. So good things to, to come. I look forward to more episodes of Adulting with Jane. Once again, it's the first narrative series ever to feature shoppable technology. So clever, meaning viewers can like products and click on them while they're watching the episode and buy it on the spot. Easy to return their easy returns and quality stuff. Um, and then go right back to the episode. They're short, they're really enjoyable. They're really clever. Um, brilliant idea. Your whole team. Kudos to all of you, Jenny. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me. Oh, my God. I look forward to having you back again and again. Anytime. Come back. And um, great, great job. Seriously. I was, I was so excited to talk to you and, and learn more about this. And just so creative. Such a great idea. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining me for this episode of What's Up with Wendy. If you love this episode, head over to iTunes or your favorite platform to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Please also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at What's Up With Wendy. And you can learn more about me and my podcast on my website, whatsupwithwendy.com. And remember, only you can make you happy.